In this video, discover how the immersive reader in Microsoft Word Online can help students improve their writing. Let's get started. You are looking at this essay that I have up on my screen that I've authored in Microsoft Word Online. I'm done with it and now I really want to go through and reread it a few times to make sure that there's clarity and that I don't have any errors in my writing. Now I can go through and visually scan this document to get an idea of, of how it will sound. I can read it out loud, but the whole thing is that I understand what I'm trying to say, so it's going to be very easy for me to miss some of the mistakes that I may have in my writing. So there's a feature in Microsoft Word Online as well as Word on the desktop called the Immersive Reader that will allow my computer to use this text-to-speech feature that's available in Word to read what, I've written, what I have written out loud. So let me show you how this works. Now, before we get started, I do want to make it clear that in order for you to access this feature, you will either need a Microsoft account. You can see the version that I have is the basic Microsoft account that I signed up on OneDrive.com, I believe. This is not the premium version. You also can have an Office 365 subscription, which will allow you to have this feature in Word Online as well as Word on the desktop. So let me show you how the Immersive Reader works. You'll just want to go to the navigation bar and click Immersive Reader. Now you'll be able to see everything that you've written inside your document in this window. Immersive Reader will give you an interface where the text is a little bit bigger so you can focus on it. If I push the play button, you'll listen to the text that I've written read out loud. In the novel Animal Farm by George Orwell, there is one very particular character whose pride and selfishness creates problems. Okay, so that's pretty much how it works. This is a fantastic way for students to listen to their text, which is being read. If I want to scroll down to a different part, I just have to kind of click where I want to begin. Click the play button. Comrade Napoleon is a powerful authority on Animal Farm. And you can see I can do this at any part. So hopefully I listen to this, I hear some of the mistakes that maybe I made, and then I can go back to my document and change it. So this is the very basic version of the immersive reader, the, the base level, I guess, but there's also ways that you can further customize this to make it a little more helpful. So let's start right over here with some of the text preferences. I can make our text bigger or smaller if I wanted to. You can add spacing, you can change the font, and you can even change the theme of the colors. So a few different options that you have that are available in the text settings in the Immersive Reader. How about this next section? This next section, you can break all your words up into syllables. You can identify the nouns, verbs, adjectives, or adverbs. Just kind of helpful there. So you do have that option to add labels in, in, in that section. And then finally, there's an option where you can adjust the line focus. So rather than focusing on, on this amount of text, if I choose this line, it's going to just really highlight just one line at a time, kind of like this. Farm. In fact, he is the leader of Animal Farm and a high-strung leader at that. Now that's one line at a time. If I switch this from one line to three lines, it will go through and this hopefully will allow me to really focus on the writing that, I, that I've done on this document. The other option is I can translate my writing to a different language. So if I was writing in Spanish, rather than having the immersive reader read my Spanish like English, I could set it to read in Spanish. So lots of different options in terms of languages. Now there's one other option that you can customize at the bottom. Those are the voice settings. I can go through, make the speed faster or slower, and I can switch between a male or female voice. So I'm just going to turn this down a touch, and I'm going to switch from male to female. Let's hear how it sounds. That. After Old Major died, Napoleon lived upon Old Major's ideas. Napoleon lead all the animals to rebellion. Okay, so lots of great ideas. Now there's also a picture dictionary where if you click on certain words, you can not only play the individual word out loud, but you can also get an idea of what it looks like. If there's a picture for that particular word that you click on, it will be displayed. So again, to access the Immersive Reader, just click View and Immersive Reader. So I hope that this video has been helpful. If you like the content on this channel, feel free to subscribe.